Hello, in this video we're going to cover transfers between accounts and how to record those correctly. The most common time that you're going to have transfers between accounts would be when you pay your business credit card with your business checking money. So that that's a something that's going to come up quite frequently in your business. Another example could be moving money from business checking to business savings or moving money from PayPal to business checking, scenarios like that. So these transfers, we don't want to record them as revenues and expenses. That's going to overstate our revenues and our expenses. We need to record these as transfers, the moving of money. So let's go to our banking tab. And let's find some transfers. Okay, let's start with this one. We're on the credit card, business credit card. Most of the time your credit card is gonna be money received, or I'm sorry, money is spent. Um, most of the money received is going to be um, from your checking, payment of your credit card. So simply select the um, item. Now sometimes, most of the time when we're categorizing transactions, we're on this add tab. This is what you've seen before, the add tab. But whenever we're doing a transfer, if it doesn't automatically show up on the transfer tab, you need to change that. Um, so once again, add is the tab we're on when we're categorizing our income and our expenses. When we do transfers of money between accounts, and this is not transfers to personal, that is covered in the owner's equity video. When we're transferring between our business accounts, we want the transfer dot selected. So in this section right here, you need to select where the money was transferred to. So we're in the credit card account, and we, um, or from, I guess I should say. We've got a receipt of $400 in our credit card that came from business checking. So we're going to select that and then we're going to click transfer. Now let's go over to business checking and see what that looks like. Here we go. Here's our same amount in business checking uh, came from the credit card. And you'll notice that this looks a little bit different. Uh, and instead of saying add, it says match. That's because QuickBooks saw that we recorded the transfer in the other account. And now they find its match over on this side. Now, if you did not feel like this was the right match that they found, you could find other records. But this is correct. Um, we transferred from the other account. QuickBooks has found that transaction on this side and it wants to link the two transactions together. So we're gonna allow QuickBooks to match them up and we're good. Let's show it from the other direction. You don't always have to record, you don't have to record the credit card side first. You can record the checking side first. It does not matter. So here we have another transfer. See here, you can see it's showing up in the add dot, but it's a transfer to our credit card. So we're gonna move it over to transfer. Uh, they have it right. It is being transferred over to the business credit card, but I just wanted to show you, you could change that if you needed to. We're gonna hit the transfer button then let's pop back over to business credit card. And lo and behold, they see that we recorded a transfer from checking to the credit card and they wanna match those two together. This is the other side of the transaction. The two sides get matched together. We're gonna to agree with that and click match. So that's super easy, um, but that's how transfers and matching works within QuickBooks. Once again, that's transfers between your business accounts.
Transfers out of your business accounts to personal are handled with owner's equity accounts, and that is covered in a separate video. All right.